on this week's news update. The world's longest suspension bridge opens. Rescuing baby owls. And a robot teaches itself how to run. First up, a new suspension bridge has opened in Turkey. And it's officially the world's longest. The 1915 Çanakkale Bridge measures over two kilometers long and stretches over a strait of water to connect Europe and Asia. Engineers and builders spent five years completing the bridge. The construction process involved fixing two huge metal towers to the seabed. Steel suspension cables were then connected between the towers. Further cables were then attached to suspend the lower deck, on which 45,000 cars can now drive every day. A marvel of modern engineering that could boost trade and tourism across Turkey. Up next, great horned owls live across the United States. Baby great horned owls usually spend several months bonding with their mother as they learn how to fly and look for food. However, in California, rescuers recently stepped in to look after a pair of baby owls after they fell from their nest. The fluffy youngsters were given food and shelter. But their human carers needed to make sure the owls didn't get too comfortable with the sight of people. If baby owls become overly familiar with humans, a process known as imprinting can occur. This can result in the owls becoming confused, thinking that humans, rather than owls, are their parents. The carers therefore disguised themselves when feeding the owls. After several months of feeding, the owls were finally released into the wild to fend for themselves. And finally, it's Tech Beat. Yes. Scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology are developing a new robot. And it's teaching itself how to run. Named Mini Cheetah, the four-legged robot uses artificial intelligence to make sense of its surroundings. Through a process of trial and error, Mini Cheetah has learned how to run, navigate obstacles, and pick itself up after falling over. With the robot able to improve its movements by itself, scientists hope future robots could also develop self-learning skills, allowing humans to tell robots what to do, and leaving robots to figure out the rest. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time.